Hi guys and welcome to a new video finally. Uh, in this video I'm actually drawing a picture of a peacock and this or a humanoid version of a peacock uh, actually and this is also a collaboration with a wonderful dude called It's AG Arts. Uh, he hit me up on YouTube to send me a comment like, lol, you want to do a collab? And I'm just like, lol, sure. Uh, and here we are. We decided that we both give each other animals and then we make a human version of them. It seemed like interesting, uh, you know, a theme for both of us. And I found him really interesting. I was like, I don't usually collaborate with people, but I checked his YouTube channel and his videos are like really short, like some of them are 10 minutes, but some of them are like 5 minutes. And you know, he's a humorous guy, so I'm just like, sure, of course, why not, you know? And he gave me uh, this animal, aka Peacock, and I'm not gonna spoil the animal I gave to him, but I'm gonna say that it's probably an animal with the coolest horns I've ever seen. It it the horns were really cool but it actually took me some time like i didn't even know that animal existed i just looked for some cool animals because uh peacock is apparently his favorite animal and i'm just like he gave me such a cool animal and this is like what am what am i gonna give to him you know i don't want it to be boring like a cat or a dog but i don't want to give anything like super ugly animal that's like oh what am i gonna do with that you know <laughs> I, I wanted to be a decent human being and give someone something nice to draw. I, I hope it's nice. Uh, at least I, I found the animal interesting. And uh, hopefully also challenging, which this was also for me because Peacock is such a colorful animal that, you know, I, I really needed to do a lot of preparing. I, I did draw like several versions of the design and what I was gonna do, but uh, I ended up with this, and I'm very happy with it. Uh, when it comes to collabs, uh, those I don't usually do, as you might have noticed. I wonder how long has it been since I last time did a collab. But it's very nice to actually do a collab after a long time. And I actually would like to collaborate with more people, but... Mm, I do have uh, the problem that I don't really... Uh, interact with other YouTube artists, as sad as it is. Uh, I have the sort of problem that I just, I kind of don't really see myself as a YouTube artist. Like, I really don't. If someone were to ask me, well, what are you? I'm just like, I'm an artist. I, I wouldn't say I'm a YouTuber, you know. YouTube is kind of like, I, I really like this. And I like talking to people, it's it's very fun and it's a lot more socializing because, you know, when I used to post art, I would make like, write very detailed descriptions and actually talk about certain things or write them down and nobody ever like replied to them. So it was kind of like, it kind of felt sad, you know, so uh, YouTube is great in that way that I can actually like talk about things that interest me and have people respond to that and also draw so that's nice uh, but I think the problem is that that's about what I like uh, but most YouTube art community seems to be uh, like there's a lot of people doing like challenges and whatnot and it's great those people like it it's just not for me so I guess I feel a little bit out of place I don't exactly feel like I belong into the YouTube art community and I'm not sure if that sounds like super self-centered or something. I'm not trying to sound like, oh, I'm so different from everybody else, eh. but <laughs> I guess it does sound like, like a little bit like that. But I, I think you can still understand where I'm coming from. I'm an artist. That's my passion. Uh, I don't really care about doing uh, marker challenges or, wh or whatnot. I don't mind if other people do them. I'm just personally, uh, I care more about like creativity and technical skill, despite the fact that I don't consider myself to be very creative. And uh, that's that's kind of the issue with the fact that I don't do a lot of collabs is I don't interact with people. Uh, <laughs> 
you know, and it's just weird because I like art and I like YouTube, but I like listening to YouTube when I'm working on art. You know, I like to put podcasts or something, you know, people just talking something that I don't have to watch, but I can just listen to. I love that. And sad thing is that YouTube, uh, even if you find artists that are like that, that you can just listen on the background, the videos are usually so short. And I know it's super ironic because my videos are like 10 minutes and I hate when videos are 10 minutes. Unless there's like a playlist that I can just, you know, uh, skim through. But otherwise it's really annoying if you have to like change video every 10 minutes. But I still do the same thing myself. I know, I know. Uh, but there's things I want to do. I would like to do podcasts myself. I've done like one uh, with a friend and I really wish we could do more, but we always like talk about it, but things never happen and it's just so annoying. Uh, and another thing I'm thinking of doing at some point is that I've started to learn a little bit how to use OBS. At this point, am I right? I finally learned how to use layers. I'm just like, ah, this is what they're for. And I also learned how to capture a program instead of like a screen capture. You can do like a program capture, which is really nice. It's, it's good to know about that at this point. Mm. But it's good that I at least learn, despite the fact that it's a little bit late. But uh, what I want to do is if I'm going to do live streams, I've been playing with OBS. So if I learn how to use that and stream with that, perhaps I will stream and then I will leave those streams up. And to be honest, nobody's going to watch a stream that's like done later. That's like the most boring thing, at least to me, is to just listen to a stream for no reason. I mean, watch a stream, especially like art stream, for no reason. Uh, so what I would personally like to do, at least I'm gonna try this if I stream, is that I try to make it at pod as podcast-like as possible. You know how people ask questions, mm, talk like this, you know, have an actual conversation, talk about interesting topics, have people ask, and you know, not just uh, total rambling so that people could you know just take the stream and not even watch it and just use it up as a background noise that's something I would like to do but that's gonna be something I will do after I know how to use the uh, YouTube streaming uh, system also when I get more confident that uh, that I actually have the guts to stream because I feel like I never finish my works and you know I actually need to be productive during the stream also I would like to actually have people there if I'm gonna stream which uh, takes me to uh, people have been just subscribing unbelievably fast it's it's freaking me out it's like I've gotten a new subscribe every day I'm not even lying uh, I reached the 700 like two months ago and we are pushing towards 800 really fast and it's kind of scaring me but it's also really amazing so thank you uh, but you know if I if I'm gonna stream it would be nice if there was actually people there so I wasn't so I wouldn't be like talking to myself because I run out of topics really fast and I'm always like a bunch of dead air just like uh, uh, uh. so you know having people actually ask questions and whatnot would be really nice but I will see what I will do about that uh, there's just so many things I want to do with my YouTube channel but they're not like easy things to do and I'm not sure if I mentioned like uh, collapse but if I do collabs with people or with more people, I really want to do like actual stuff with people, maybe record with the people or maybe give each other like questions to answer, you know, because YouTube has such a potential. So I feel like if I do more collabs with people, then I actually want to do a meaningful collabs, not just let's draw a picture and, you know, stuff like that. Well, we're kind of doing that right now, but I, I haven't really done many collabs, so I cannot really say how this is supposed to work. It's experimental stuff right now, but in the future, I really hope to actually do some meaningful collabs with people, explore uh, what's so good about YouTube is that you can interact more closely with people. Uh, so that is what I want to do in the future. 
I have a bunch of plans and nothing ever happens. I'm slowly, I'm, I'm learning slowly, okay. And, uh, I really hope that you guys are gonna check AG's uh, version. I haven't seen it yet. Anyway, we are keeping this as a surprise to each other's as well. So I'm gonna link it in the description and yeah, go check it out. His uh, videos are short and he's entertaining guy, like he's a funny guy. Uh, so I really recommend you do that. And uh, if there's, uh, again, I say this always, but if there's like questions, things you want to know, things you care about, like it's special like questions and things you want me to talk about. If you think there's a topic you want me to cover, tell me because I always run out of ideas. But anyway, this picture is almost ready. I hope you enjoyed this video and go watch his version of the collab. And it's uh, bye bye.